If you've been looking at some of my other videos, you know that I've covered uh, taps and dies and uh, and talked a little bit about threads, but mainly about how to make threads rather than the, uh, the types of threads. But all American threads now are uh, unified uh, uh, forms that have been agreed upon by all the manufacturers. And uh, they're 60 degrees. Now here we have uh, three-quarter bolts, but we have a coarse and we've got a fine. And it's a wonderful system when they unified this and everybody agreed to use these. Now we are a little bit confused by the metric system, but a uh, hundred years ago or more, everybody just made their own threads. If you've ever uh, collected old Stanley planes or uh, some of these old tools, you couldn't uh, make replacement parts because uh, they just made up their thread sizes for their own companies. And if you wanted to make a spare part for some of these old tools, you don't have the taps or dies, and it's just something that you have to cannibalize other uh, tools in order to, to get the fasteners. So it's really a great thing when they uh, unified these. 60 degree uh, thread form. Now take a look at the picture of the standard V-thread that I've got on this video. And, and there's a few uh, uh, terminologies or terms that we need to uh, cover. One is the uh, major diameter, that's the diameter if you check with, with a micrometer. And then the minor diameter is the diameter at the bottom of the threads. That's the minor diameter. And then the pitch diameter is the diameter uh, from one side to the other and an imaginary line that uh, goes halfway between the uh, crest of the thread and the root. The crest is the top and the root is the bottom. Now, pitch is the distance from, uh, well, from one thread to another. That's the pitch. The lead means how much the nut will travel on here per revolution. So uh, on a single thread, the pitch and the lead are the same. But sometimes we have multiple threads that are on the same uh, screw and they look just like a regular thread but they're not and I'm going to show you a couple examples of that now. Here's an old Colombian woodworking device out of a grade school. And uh, <clears throat> I got it turned upside down here so I can show you the thread, but uh, several things. First of all, it's a square thread. And secondly, it's uh, called a two-start thread. So there's really two threads here going alongside of each other. Now I painted uh, the start of that thread yellow so that you can see uh, it's tapered there. That's where the, the thread starts. But if I rotate the screw a uh, half of a turn, you're going to see that there's another thread starting here. So that's a two start. Now the reason they did this on a woodworking vise is that this is not a rapid nut on here. Some of them had a rapid nut. But for every time you would turn the handle uh, one rotation, uh, the jaw would move double the uh, regular lead on here. So the pitch on here is from uh, one, the center of one thread to the center of the next, but the lead on it really is the equivalent of two teeth. So that's a two start thread. Alright, I just rated the refrigerator here and I got a gallon of milk and I know I'm getting a little off the topic here, but uh, all of these uh, plastic milk jugs now have uh, multiple start threads and this is a uh, four start thread. So I made a little red mark there. My wife's going to wonder what the heck's going on here, but that's the beginning of one thread, and then the next thread, and then uh, number three, and there's and then number four. So there's really four threads here. Now the reason they do that is twofold. One, you can put the lid on, and notice that you can tighten the lid with just really, it looks like about one-fourth of a turn, and it's tight. Same thing when it comes off. Also, uh, this type of thread doesn't tend to cross thread. 
And we got women in the kitchen that don't know anything about threads, but they do know uh, when uh, the when the lid doesn't go on right. So uh, it, there's very little likelihood of uh, cross threading uh, these multiple start lines. This is a set of taps and dies that are metric, and uh, they look at first glance just like uh, regular English or American threads, but uh, there is a, a difference in their diameters and their pitches. And one thing that is uh, interesting about the metric is that uh, when you look at this, this particular one is uh, 12 millimeter and 1.75. So that means it's 12 millimeter in diameter as 1.75 millimeters from the crest of one thread to the next. So the second number, the 1.75, is the pitch. Where in America, with our threads, we're ta we usually talk about 10 threads per inch. So this, if this is 10 threads per inch, the pitch would be one-tenth of that, or in this case, 100 thousandths. That's all I'm going to mention about metric threads uh, for now. A couple of things I wanted to review now that I've got a decent picture here to show you. Uh, I'll, this is a, a repeat of what we did a little bit earlier, but uh, I think you can see here the major diameter is the overall diameter of a thread if you used a micrometer and checked it. The minimum diameter is the distance uh, from the, the root or the bottom of the thread to the uh, bottom of uh, this thread. That would be the uh, uh, minimum diameter, or minor diameter, rather. And then the pitch diameter is halfway between the top and the bottom. Same thing down here. That's the pitch diameter. That's not really all that important to learn, but you really need to know that when you're measuring threads. The pitch, again, is the distance from the top of one thread to the next thread. Pitch and lead are the same in a single start thread. And we've already talked about the multiple start threads where the pitch and the lead would not be the same. This is a review on the thread forms of the common threads. The sharp V is no longer used. There's uh, the BA, or the British Association, that's used on small models. That's what that thread looks like, blown up. And there's the Whitworth, 55 degree. There's the pipe thread, the buttress thread, the square, and the acme. And then there's some others there that really don't matter much. But this is our unified system in the United States, 60 degrees. And it doesn't come to a sharp point. It's slightly flat on the top and the bottom. And all of our common threads now are that shape. Remember that uh, we have a unified national course that used to be United States standard. And then our fine thread series is the uh, unified national fine. And that used to be called SAE. And some old timers still call them SAE threads when they're referring to fine ones. Well, I'm sure I told you a little bit more about threads than you even wanted to know. But there is an awful lot to know about threads. and uh, But that's enough on that. And this is Tubal Cain saying so long for now.